All right, boys, uh, we're going to be reacting to a clip made by Pirate Software. And uh, I assume every single Lost Ark content creator is going to be making a video on this because in a never-ending uh, cycle of leeching and regurgitating content off each other, uh, listen, this is actually a really good conversation piece. And I have like a ton of stuff I want to talk about. So he talks a little bit about Lost Ark and its systems. And let's just jump into this and we'll like rant afterwards. A lot of Korean MMOs. And the reason why is because I like games with a grind. I actually really like grinding games. So Korean MMOs kind of really are great for me. Don't play Lost Ark. No, Lost Ark is really good. I'll give you an This is something I actually agree with. I remember a friend of mine, Saul, was making fun of me as they were playing Valorant because I was playing BDO at the time. And they're like, bro, do you just like games? I feel like a job. And I was in those situations where you're like, no. And I didn't know what to say in rebuttal. I like games. I feel like jobs, I guess. <laughs> I like games with big ass grinds, with long ass grinds, where you feel your power level getting higher and higher and higher and higher. However, I do think Lost Ark does that kind of a little bit scuffed, but we'll get into that afterwards. That's the why, right? Lost Ark is a masterclass on showing you new systems and then making those systems what is called evergreen. Does anyone not know what evergreen means when we're talking about systems design in video games? Evergreen means that it sticks around forever. The other type of system is called a borrowed power system. So imagine at the end of an expansion in World of Warcraft, you have, tr you know, leveled up a weapon a whole bunch by using artifact power, and then it's gone. Next expansion, that whole system's deleted, right? That's a borrowed power system. Evergreen is the next expansion. That system stays there and you keep building on it. It stays, right? That's the evergreen system. Borrowed power feels like shit because it feels like your character is advancing in reverse. I'd take you so powers. much to not like yap over this. Because you engage but I want to go through the whole clip first. Forever. Lost Ark, every system is evergreen. You engage with it and then it upgrades over time and it gets better and better and better and it just makes you cooler and cooler forever. Anything that you invest in that game is forever. Is Warframe evergreen? Yes. All the systems in Warframe are evergreen as a result of this. So the thing that's really interesting about that is I like evergreen systems. Lost Ark is all evergreen systems. I was uniquely drawn to Lost Ark because of this. Then there was a problem. And the problem is, is that the last like 2% of your progression at the end of Lost Ark, it's a brick goddamn wall with a weekly timer. And what you got to do is you got to get your weekly shit and then try it and you have a- This is true. We're going to just cut it off here and go back to these evergreen systems. Boys, it took everything in me to not yap over this. Now, I agree. Something that I think draws a lot of people to Lost Ark is the infinite grind. It's something that draws me to it, for sure. The issue is, is that I feel like the idea of borrowed power has been villainized by Asmogold. I don't know. I don't think everybody regurgitates what he says intentionally, but I've noticed in the MMO space, in the video game space in general, the shit this dude says just gets repeated over and over and over and over. But the thing is, I don't think borrowed power is necessarily a bad thing in theme park MMOs. The thing is, most people's experience with MMOs usually starts and ends with World of Warcraft. A ton of people are like that. And so back in the, like, I guess, like early 2000s and like late 90s, a lot of people didn't play a ton of other MMOs. They went from maybe EverQuest and went directly into World of Warcraft. But the thing is, WoW had to pay a price for what it created, which is the theme park MMO. WoW became the most accessible, most I don't know what other word to use besides baby game, but it became a very, very safe space in a genre that usually was very volatile and very, very unforgiving. And so it made it extremely popular because it was incredibly well made, incredibly polished. And I mean, at the end of the day, guys, like, bro, the, the fucking 20 year old combat in that game and movement and like tactile feedback on the responsiveness of your skills and, and character is something that games to this day still have trouble fucking reproducing. It's insane. So for very good reasons, this game became super popular. However, Borrowed power, I believe, is kind of the byproduct of when you make a team-oriented PvE game where there's just like infinite scaling and power because if you never fucking reset, that is an issue. A perfect example of this, and ironically, he used Lost Ark. I feel like BDO would have been a better example of Evergreen Systems. Lost Ark has these infinite grinds, right? Your characters are always honing up. There's things like elixirs, there's things like transcendence. And regardless of how those systems work in general, how they feel to use, let's just pretend it isn't like cock and ball torture to use those systems. At the end of the day, these are cool systems because they make your character more powerful by a shit ton. The issue with these systems is that they don't matter because the next raid is just balanced around that system. And so what's the difference between your power being taken away or your power staying in the game, but it's just balanced around that? The only thing that changes is it makes the accessibility to the game take a massive fucking L. 
Games that usually have good evergreen systems tend to be sandbox MMOs, things like EVE Online, things like Mortal Online. Okay, I'm name naming a lot of dead games. I'm a dark fall, <laughs> like Albion. Usually more sandboxy MMOs tend to be the ones where these evergreen systems work out better. Because if you use the example of something like Lost Ark, we right now have an issue where the entire game and the entry level to every raid is based around this like invisible, invisible 20 item levels that the game just expects you to have already had. And so you're in this middle ground where if you didn't have time to do it or the money to do it, like it's, it's just this weird thing, right? And at the end of the day, does it count as your power staying if like you're expected to just have it, that the rate is balanced, that you have to have it. And so that's kind of like the baseline, right? Now, something I want to touch on that's a separate issue here is again, the borrow power. This is something that I feel like, I don't know if it came from Asmogold. I mean, it obviously comes from the game design, but I feel like a lot of people repeat this shit from that dude. Borrowed power is just not a bad thing in my opinion. It's fine. Your character or this the raids being seasonal is healthy for a PvE focused game. If this was a sandbox, if this was Eve, if this was BDO, I would understand this like, yeah, that's kind of fucked, right? But in a game where you fucking group up with other idiots and kill bosses, the borrowed power thing is completely fine because it creates a new plateau for new players to be able to jump in. And the older players still have a massive advantage because if they just stayed in the farm, they have extra gold and extra this and extra that and extra experience. But at the end of the day, those things like soft resetting constantly is healthy for the game overall over the long term. Because otherwise, the only other way you solve the solution is that the raids have to be keep getting harder and harder and harder and harder and harder and more health and more health and more health and more health. Because imagine where the raids would be if you were still able to equip your legendaries from vanilla, your legendaries from TBC, your legendaries from Legion, your artifact weapon from Legion, and all that shit stayed in the game. There's 20 years worth of fucking shit in the game that never gets reset. It would be cancer. <laughs> It's something that I feel like gets villainized, and ironically, I think it's because he hasn't played the game in a long time, and I think that's totally fine. No one's like forced to play Lost Ark, but Lost Ark is a horrible example of Evergreen Systems, in my opinion. It doesn't mean the game is necessarily bad, but Lost Ark is structured like World of Warcraft if they just never, ever, ever reset. The only thing they reset is kind of like a soft reset where they essentially just extend the ladder a little bit, but a lot of these like long-term systems end up staying in the game, but they end up becoming almost pointless because you're expected to just have them and the raids difficulty health and damage and everything is structured around having it i do wholeheartedly believe that borrow power gets overly villainized and really is something that is healthy for this style of game thank you for coming to my mini rant i hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you're new around here make sure to subscribe to the channel check me out on twitch let me know in the comment section down below or my chat uh uh um uh i love you bye